The Communist Party calls for rolling back prices on food, fuel, and rent to raise wages and to curb corporate profits. Prices have risen dramatically over the last year, along with corporate profits, while real wages and incomes, purchasing power, continue their dramatic fall. Who's responsible? The monopolies and their governments who are overseeing the most massive transfer of wealth from the working class to the corporations and the rich in decades. Corporate think tanks like the Fraser Institute, corporate media like the National Post, and right-wing governments claim that workers and unions are responsible for massive price hikes. It's corporations that set the prices and reap the profits, while workers' wages continue to fall behind, eaten up by the inflated prices and skyrocketing profits. Corporate landlords, banks, and grocery chains raked in billions, while food, fuel, and rent became unaffordable, and hunger and homelessness rose across the country. It's unrestrained corporate power and greed that's responsible for this crisis, aided and abetted by governments that enact wage restraints, corporate tax cuts, privatization, and divert social spending to the military. Food or rent? A basic food basket is beyond the reach of low-income and precarious workers, pensioners, and people on fixed incomes, forcing them to choose between food for themselves or food for their children. Food or medicine? Food or rent? In 2022, food prices rose 10.3%, rising even higher for essentials like cooking oil, 26%. This year, food prices are projected to rise another 5 to 7 percent, or almost $1,000 more for a family of four. The price of home heating and gas at the pumps reached record levels in 2022 and is projected to rise to $2 a litre this year. Rents have also jumped as big landlords take advantage of the shortage of affordable rental housing and the absence of rent control legislation across the country. Rents across Canada rose 12.4% last year, while in Atlantic Canada, rents rose 32.2% in the same 12 months. Rising interest rates have created a crisis for new homeowners who will be unable to pay the up to $1,000 a month more that they will have to pay the big banks while they renegotiate their mortgages this year. In January, the big five banks indicated they were preparing for mortgage defaults, resulting from eight rate hikes in the last 11 months. Further, the Bank of Canada's rising interest rate policy anticipates and advocates rising unemployment and falling real wages as the solution to inflation, despite the cost to workers, their families and communities. This is also how the Bank of Canada, the government and the biggest employers plan to discipline workers and their unions across the country. Big layoffs have already started, leaving people desperate. More layoffs are ahead. One job should be enough, not the multiple jobs and low wages that millions of workers are forced to stitch together just to get by today. Well, who benefits? In 2020, while 7 million people applied for CERB and others for EI, corporations seized the opportunity to raise prices and profits. After-tax corporate profits skyrocketed 59% to $456 billion in 2021, and then jumped to an astonishing $523 billion just six months later. This includes Loblaws, whose profits rose 40% in three months last year. Sobeys, Metro and Walmart were very close behind. Canadian banks also raked in $57 billion in profits last year, dishing out $19 billion to their executives, while corporate landlords and the gas and oil industry also posted record profits. Parliament has the power to roll back prices and rents, and they need to do it now. What's needed is a mass public pressure to force them to act. The labor and democratic movements, youth, women, seniors, farmers, the unemployed, municipalities, and many others must unite around a mass campaign to roll back and freeze prices and rents and interest rates. It's in our common interest to do it. With a minority federal government, a mass campaign that brings people into the streets in rallies and protests demanding price rollbacks has the leverage needed to compel government action. A cross-Canada coalition of organizations with labor at its core could be organized and move into action before more working people lose their jobs, their homes, and their futures to corporate profits and greed. Political parties like the NDP, the Greens, and Quebec Solidaire can also be pressed into action. 
The Communist Party fights for working people. We have a long history in the struggle for workers' rights and interests, including the right to affordable food, fuel, and shelter, good jobs, and rising wages and living standards. Communists also fight to raise corporate taxes and for progressive tax policies that take the load off working people. We fight to curb corporate power and expand labor and democratic rights. Our goal is a socialist Canada, where working people are in the driver's seat. The coming recession means more hard times for working people, with right-wing governments and corporations across the country working against them. But history shows that a united struggle by the working class and its allies can roll back the corporate agenda and win important gains. Working people can count on the Communist Party to fight for their interests and for a united fight to roll back prices and rents. Contact the Communist Party at communist-party.ca. People's needs, not corporate greed. One job should be enough.